So I grabbed some items from the reseller locker that I'm going to try to get listed today and tomorrow to get started on selling stuff. And uh, as you saw in some of the other videos, or will see in some of the other videos, uh, a lot of electronics where I'm hoping to make the money from at least to, you know, the, the break even money and then get into profits and then everything else in the locker starts hitting as profits. But so I'm going to turn the phone. I don't know if that's going to mess things up in the room. So we got a Kenwood multi-compact disc player. All these I have to test and make sure they're working. Sony 5-disc player. Sony Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. Got a Sony 5-disc changer over here. Optimus 5-disc changer. It almost has that record player look to it. Haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. This is a nice GE Digital 3-disc DVD player. Another Sony VCR. Leviatech 1000 satellite receiver that looks in really good condition. JVC, this is cool. This plays the VHS Cs, the small compact, without having to put them in the little carriage. Samsung Blu ray player, one, two VCRs. There's a Kenwood and a Sony AM-FM receivers. Over here, used to have one of these, Pioneer. This is a stereo cassette deck. JVC, FM, AM, stereo, tuner, sharp, dual cassette deck. Realistic um, cassette deck. Down here we've got a Sony Digital Audio Video Control Center. That should be a really good piece. And then two Nito robot vacuum cleaners that I had to test and see if they work. And the great thing about those two Nito vacuum cleaners, um, I can sell those as parts and still list them for right around 40 bucks each. So, you know, even uh, even if those don't work, those will be able to be salvaged as parts. All the other stuff I'm um, hoping works because I don't want to try to sell those for parts or repair uh, on eBay. They would end up being more of a yard sale. And then some of the miscellaneous stuff, we got a Mickey that's animatronic. A Leo bank, got a little bit of damage on the uh, the piece, but otherwise in good shape. Vintage 80s Ken, I believe. Looking at his ass there. Costume jewelry, watches, belt buckles, just a whole variety of costume jewelry. This little auto bridge game that looks really cool. Vintage. A couple of little orphan any collector plates. Board game I grabbed just to show my son. VH, uh, VHS Rewinder. We got an Eeyore and an Elmo that are some sort of battery operated that don't know if they work. Two vintage Kodak cameras. Both of them are in there with some manuals. These two Geppetto dolls that... I think it says talking, but... I have no idea. They might go with the porcelain lot I got, or we'll see what they're worth. A goofy phone for parts. Nice old Fisher Price um, plane. 1976. This is a year as I was bored. It's got Todd's name on it, but otherwise, that's a really cool vintage piece. Pretty sure this will sell. Disc golf. Another Tom Thumb vintage piece. And then Sports Illustrated, a couple of magazines, Time Magazine, a couple of comics that are not really worth anything, but I just saw that stack and grabbed it. So that is the first haul filled up the back of my truck to start getting things listed and get things moving. Again, um, I only did a, a, a pull of these uh, because I couldn't spend a whole lot of time in this locker. Got uh, stuff going on today, tonight. Um, we'll be doing a lot of listing tomorrow. 
And then I'm actually on the road for a week, traveling for work. So next weekend will be a more in-depth dive of that locker and trying to clear it out and bring stuff over and figure out what I'm going to do with all the other stuff that's in there. Um, but I wanted to get some stuff online and get it moving. I don't want I don't want this stuff to sit idle. Um, so yeah, reseller locker part selling part one video. I don't know. This might be part one video, part three. I, I don't. I've, I made several videos. I don't know what order they're going to come out in. So I apologize for that. But let me know what you guys think. Who's into the vintage electronics? Anybody? Uh, this stuff will be going online soon. Thanks all.